What is up fellow YouTubers, Keith here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to run native Windows applications on the Mac OS utilizing Wine. It is extremely easy and offers some very awesome functionality. For those of you who love using your Mac but may need to use a few Windows specific programs, files, or even games that are in the .exe format. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Open up your favorite browser and simply Google Wine Bottler. It's going to be the very first link right here and do not worry we do have the um, link in the description all right we're going to select wine bottler 1.8.6 stable and uh, beware there's a few ads here don't click anything just wait a few seconds and you'll be prompted to skip ad up here in the top right all right and then you can wait just a few seconds and the download should start for that dot DMG, sorry, dot DMG. There you go. Take a look here, it might take a few minutes. All right, guys, the wine bottler combo uh, DMG has finished downloading and it's prompted us here with this beautiful GUI. All you wanna do is select both the wine and wine bottler icon and, um, oops and simply drag them to the applications folder. Okay. So next, after you've um, moved those uh, icons into the applications folder and they uh, appropriately installed, we're gonna go ahead and click Wine Bottler. Say open. All right, guys, we have the Wine Bottler GUI open. Um, as you guys can see, there's a variety of applications that you can install. Um, some, you know, browsers here. I think you have MS Paint, yep, down here. And all you do is hit install and it'll repackage these .exe files into application bundles or uh, just a dot app that can then be uh, utilized natively on, on your Mac OS. And you can place these files honestly wherever you want, but um, you have the option by default to just place them in the, uh, the applications um, dock here on Launchpad. So the other thing I wanted to show you guys is the advanced tab up here, kind of to the right. It's this uh, pungent yellow orangish um, GUI. So uh, let's say you have a .exe file that you want to run that's not listed in that uh, downloadable category area, which is honestly not a lot. So if you have a file for, uh, let's say you, I don't know, MS, MS Paint, you would select the file if you downloaded it. Um, we're not gonna actually do this, but, so I've got that .exe, which is a game um, in this instance, I would select copy file for installation mode and all files in the folder to the app bundle. Or if you just have a, a standalone.exe, you can do um, this installation mode execute file and it'll run that, that installer. And you don't really need to change anything else here. You can decide what system um, version you want. Uh, it's got up to Windows 7 here. But uh, also, you can change the app bundle information here. So as you can see here, copyright, identifier, category title, it doesn't really matter, but if you go up here to prefixes, I've made some in the past, it does append that support, um, your company, blah, 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 to the end of that. But again, it doesn't matter. And just to make this clear, make sure you always select new prefix when you're um, converting a new .exe file to an app bundle. All right, um, one of the easiest methods though to launch a .exe file, and in this case, we're gonna, we're gonna run a game. I uh, downloaded the, one of the classic sonic.exe files from the internet. Um, I'm gonna go to downloads and I'm gonna open in Finder. If you simply select your .exe, right click, open with, oops, open with, and you select wine. 
you have the option to run directly um, through Wine here, or you can convert it um, to the application bundle that we just we just talked about. And if you select that option and hit Go, it'll bring you back to the um, Wine Bottler yellow page uh, GUI there, and you'll have to do the full um, file path and make a app bundle that way. But in this case, um, we're just going to do a one-time run here of uh, of that sonic.exe. And if you just hit go, it goes ahead and launches Sonic. And you can go ahead and play this as you normally would. And this is a windows.exe. And it works on the Mac. And I'll throw a little five second demo here. Run around with tails. There you go. All right, guys, that's how you install and utilize Wine Bottler and Wine for Windows applications. As always, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed, and toss this video a like if you found it useful. Thanks for watching.